this is how to use Redhead's Epcon A7 Plus adhesive. I have an additional video about good practice guidelines for installing adhesive anchors. Click on the channel name, Know How Now, to find it. If you don't already have a design for your anchor, there is a 16-page PDF called A7 Plus Catalog Pages that can be found on Redhead's website. I'll use some screenshots from it. Consider spacing and edge distance and the anchor and hole size. A7 Plus is qualified for use in concrete, brick, block, stone, and clay tile. Use the masonry drill bit and drill with a hammer setting for light duty or a rotary hammer drill to drill larger holes or many holes. For the adhesive to work correctly, clean dust and debris from the drilled holes. Perform two to three cycles of brushing the hole out with a nylon brush and then blowing it out with air. Do not use a metal brush. You can buy specific brushes for this step. Blow the dust out of the hole with oil-free compressed air, a pump, or canned air. It's a good idea to wear safety glasses and a face mask. If this process doesn't clean all the debris out of the holes, flush them with water. This quick curing epoxy adhesive cures in 45 minutes. If the adhesive and material temperature is 110 degrees, it gels in just one and a half minutes. Pick a cooler day to do your work. During high heat, consider using an adhesive with a longer gel time. Don't buy old product. Check the use by date. Adhesives are thicker than caulk. A heavy duty gun is needed to push the material through the mixing nozzle. Redhead sells a special dispenser for this cartridge. The cartridge fit very snugly into this gun. You may have to trim the bottom of the cartridge to get it to fit into your gun. Remove the end cap. There are no seals to break. Install the mixing nozzle. The mixing nozzle combines the two parts of the adhesive. Dispense the adhesive until the color is uniform. Then to prevent air pockets, fill the hole starting at the bottom until it's about two-thirds full. I marked the two-thirds point on the nozzle with a piece of tape. Then twist the bolt, rod, or rebar into the hole. If excess adhesive needs to be removed, just scrape it away with a putty knife before it sets up. Wait for the curing time to expire and then assemble your project. If the adhesive sets up in the nozzle before you're done, extra nozzles are available. Model A24S fits the 9.5 ounce cartridge. I found them online for about $9 each. Here's the number of holes that can be filled with a 9.5 ounce cartridge. I hope you found this video helpful. A thumbs up is always appreciated. Click on the channel name, Know How Now, to find other videos. And thanks for watching.